Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. Today, we're going to take a look at a fresh trade-in that just arrived here on the lot. This is a 2021 Ford F-350. The trim package is Lariat. This truck has just over 16,000 miles. So that tells us that obviously there's a lot of warranty left on the truck. Ford comes with a three year, 35,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. So this still has a substantial amount of warranty left. So as we admire the truck from the side view, we'll take a look at some things that jump out at us. First off is we notice that it has aftermarket tires and wheels put on tires and rims. See, these are 295 60R20s. So as you can see, there's a ton of width on those tires that will sure stabilize things if we get into mud, things of that nature. This truck comes with the FX4 off-road package. Well, what does that mean? That means that there's, there's extra protection underneath the truck. There's skid plates, things like that on there. So if we get into rocks, things of that nature, everything underneath is protected. It comes with a tonneau cover that stretches the length of the bed, obviously to protect things that your items that you're carrying in the bed of the truck. As we come on forward, Ford's typical keypad located here that will enable you to unlock the truck from the outside. This is the 6.7 liter power stroke badge located right there. Furthermore, this has the Lariat and F-350 badge located right there. As we come forward and take a look directly in front of the truck, and we'll work from the bottom up. We can see an extra little bit of protection located right across here. Tow hooks located on each side. The traditional Ford logo located right here. Plus very bright and very large headlights that are LED located right there. The Super Duty badge located right there. Underneath the hood, we find the Power Stroke 6.7 liter engine. That specific engine offers 475 horsepower. But if you just stop and think about it, that's amazing. 475 horses in a pickup truck. So obviously, this truck is going to be able to tow a bunch. And it's coupled with the Ford transmission. As you can see, things are a little bit tight underneath here, but you can still do some things. Check the oil for pre-trip inspections, things of that nature. Two batteries located on both sides. Furthermore, a light located right there. So if you do have to get underneath there in the dark, we can see what's going on. As we come forward and take a look at the mirrors. Now we can go ahead and extend those mirrors when we're towing to make visibility better. In addition, there's a light located right here for the blind spot monitor. So when we are in our travels and somebody gets up in our blind spot, those mirrors are gonna notify us. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, here is where we make the adjustments for the seat. Plus this lets air in and out right here for the lumbar system. Okay, there's a little red button right here. Remember the little red button, because here in a little bit, I'm gonna show you exactly what that does. Okay, we can adjust the steering wheel located right here. In addition, WeatherTech floor mats all the way around 
to make cleaning easier. In addition, this adjusts the pedals right here. This will let the tailgate down. This truck is completely ceramic coated for protection against door dings, things of that nature as well. As we take a look inside the back seat, the back seats are also heated. We can pop that on up. It does come with extra tie downs, plus a jack located back here. As we continue on, both fuel and def tank located right there. Now as we take a look behind the truck, and from the ground up, we can see it comes with a bumper pull hitch located right here. In addition, remember the little red button? The little red button turns these lights on here. And it's actually a three-way switch. So if you set it to automatic, anytime the truck is in reverse, these lights come on. Or you can shut them off, or the third option being turn them on. So that really lights things up when you're going to back up, a tra back up and hook up a trailer is what those lights were put on there for. Here is the hookups for the bumper pull. Now there is a camera located right here. As you can see, there is an additional rim for the spare tire. Since those are aftermarket and large, we're going on ahead and he uh, gave us the rim for that. It comes with the puck system to hook up either gooseneck or a fifth wheel hitch. This actually comes out and down to assist us in getting in. And this comes on up here as well and to put it back just like that and up and in. As we walk on around we can see on the side that there are more lights located here and the red one in back. So at night, this truck really lights itself up. So we take a look at the passenger seat. Again, our adjustments located down here. As we look inside the glove box, it does come with all the original manuals as well. The front seats are heated and vented. As we take a look back here, we can see it comes with a couple of chargers located there. There's the vents to blow hot or cold into the back seat, in addition to the WeatherTech floor mats. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Push button start. And we'll start at the top and work our way down. There's auxiliary buttons here. So if we want to put additional cameras, things of that nature on, we can do that right here. This is for the airbags. It comes with airbags for suspension, so you can adjust those with this remote. As we come on down, this is the exhaust brake. 
This is for traction control, so if we do find ourselves in a little bit of mud, we can stabilize things using that. Our hazards are right here. In addition, hill descent is located right there. So if we're coming down a hill, we want to push that and that'll help um, slow things down as well as the exhaust brake. Cameras located here. So you can do some different things with the cameras. Now if we take a look at the main screen, I like this one. We don't have those big gaudy ones or it's not those little tiny ones where we're trying to see things. Just kind of a medium sized screen in the truck. Right there is the backup camera. Some other things you can do, we'll hook up your phone for you via Bluetooth. So we can, in your travels, you can simply answer the phone from the steering wheel. There is our climate control, additional apps that come with it. You can uh, download certain apps to the truck. And if we take a look at settings, some things we can see, navigation right there. As we come on over and take a look at some different ones, um, Apple CarPlay, it comes with that, Android Auto as well. You can change the display in the truck. In addition to that, it'll let, give you updates on when you need oil changes, things of that nature. As we come on down, it has with six presets. The trailer brake is actually located right over here. Obviously, the truck is four-wheel drive, so you can adjust it two-wheel, four-wheel high, or four-wheel low, and do that right here. As previously stated, it comes with both heated and vented seats. In addition to that, a couple of charge ports located underneath here. As we take a look at the console, there's actually a safe in here. So we can set the code to where you need it to be. That locks up firearms, things of that nature as well. Cup holders located right here. Some things we can do from the steering wheel. If we get off-road, we can see what's going on there as well. We answer the phone right here. We can adjust the volume to the stereo right here. On this side is where we set the cruise control, located here. And you can speed up or decline speed from the steering wheel as there. So as mentioned, an extremely nice pickup truck that we have on the market today. This is stock number 5U22. 0293. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.